What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Brandy here. Welcome to the Trap House. I'm here with your November 2019 chakra reading. This is a little, a lot different than the general reading. <clears throat> this is to help you balance and align your chakras. These will reveal, these cards in your tarot reading will reveal what is allowing you to open up a certain chakra or what you might need to do to clear a blockage in your um, particular chakra. We have seven chakras. Some of you may know them. If not, I'll go through them. Your base chakra is what you have. Your sacral chakra is what you desire. Your solar plexus is what you are capable of. Your heart chakra is what you love. Your throat chakra is what you should or should not speak. Your third eye chakra is everything that goes on in your unconscious minds, in your daydreams, your dreams, and your visions. And your crown chakra is everything that goes on when you are fully awake and aware in your mind. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll get started. We always talk to God, the spirit guides, the ancestors, the relatives who left us, who passed before us, the angels, the universe, and the creator of all things. We ask for clear, kind, positive, but above all, honest messages. Okay. I always ask that you pay attention to the music in the background, as I do believe that spirit sends channel messages through the music. I want to start with your power of love oracle activation card thank you spirit okay i appreciate your patience i was recently in a car accident i am perfectly okay i'm so grateful i'm sore as hell because i'm getting old these buns can't take it but i'm here and able to share my gifts with you and i couldn't be more grateful to god for allowing me to see the light of day and my children again okay thank you spirit Okay, I'm going to reset the music real quick. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. What messages do we have for Gemini for the month of November 2019? I decided to do the readings. Today is 11-11. I hope you all manifest all of your heart's desires. Thank you. Friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections, harmony, satisfaction, and vision. Okay? So with friendliness here, it says that you are able to recognize the traits in common with another to forge love-based connections. Your friendships are creating harmony in your life and you are very satisfied with, what, with most of your friendships. You may be satisfied with your level of friendliness. You know, we are air signs. I'm, all, I'm a Libra, so I'm also an air sign. But what we share in common is that we like to relate to other people. We read other people very well. Um, we, good, we do very good in social situations. You're satisfied right now. It says harmony. You are able to feel a loving and balanced connection with everything. If you don't feel this harmony, you are desiring it and that you know that that will bring you satisfaction and bring some clarity to your visions. It says, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. So you are being more friendly with yourself. You are satisfied with the friends that you currently have or you wish to achieve that, that level of satisfaction. Um, you want friends who share your life goals, common desires, and um, who will understand your visions. It says, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving and just universe. Okay? So I believe that once you realize that you have all the tools you need and this satisfaction fell directly onto your heart chakra and it is green as well. So um, there could be some loving relationships that could be improved by being more friendly to your partner, making sure that you are friends first. And um, I think sometimes when we're in a relationship, we get the role of a spouse or a husband, wife, 
and we start to try to dictate what the other person does. But if we remember that we are only just humans and friends, you'll allow that person to have the freedom to explore their own visions and their own ideas in life, okay? Okay, this is actually the very first deck of tarot cards that I ever purchased. So it's really special to me. I'm happy to be able to share with you. I'm going to pull one card for each chakra. And then I'm going to clarify with the angel tarot. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Okay. I do see the release card. The release card is the death card in traditional tarot that is saying that you may be needing to release some of your old thought patterns or behaviors in order to grow to a level of satisfaction within yourself and with those around you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Let's start. What messages do we have for Gemini for the month of November 2019? Okay. We have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Fool card, the Five of Swords, the Temperance, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. The Magician says here, manifest. You have all the tools that you need to create anything that your hearts desire. And as I stated, today is 11-11, so today is a perfect day to manifest as you notice the one here at the top. All right. So what you have here is you are probably suspecting someone as being dishonest with you. These are thoughts of deception. Either someone is acting in a sus suspicious Thanks to Mercury Retrograde, I will not be able to speak very fluently. However, um, you, you want to go deeper within somebody. You want somebody to open up and to ditch the lies and the deception. I believe that in the beginning of every relationship or at some point in the relationship, we begin to start to tell lies, not because we are liars, but sometimes we begin to tell lies because we want to keep up with our partner. Um, we may be trying to one-up them as you do have the five of swords here as well but spirit is encouraging you at your base and everything that you have in your life now to make sure that you are seeking the truth within your own truth and those around you okay someone may think you are up to no good or you could be thinking that about someone else with what you desire believe and succeed this is a victory you want victories in your life. You want to be successful and happy in home and love and in life in general and career. Okay. This says believe and succeed. As long as you believe it, you are able to achieve it. And that is exactly what you have here by being the fool in your capabilities. It looks like you are able to free fall. Usually you'll see in the traditional tarot that the fool card is standing right at the edge of the cliff about to jump. He doesn't know. And he has a smile on his face. This woman looks happy. She looks free. This is you able to trust yourself in whatever decisions that you make. If you decide to stay with someone or change your career, um, you are able to free fall. Let the universe guide you towards your next move. Trust yourself that you will not, you know, allow yourself to fail. Trust your ability to succeed. With the five of wands, I'm sorry, the five of swords here. This is more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with another air sign or you could just be in a situation where your partner seems to think that there's a, a battle, you or your partner. There may be a constant war. This call, card is a call for a truce. You want to stop trying to battle with your partner. Make sure you're not trying to one-up them. Always trying to have the last word. Let the other person have that. The person who walks away from the battle is not the loser. Okay? It's like stick a fork in it. That's what I get here when I see this win or lose card. Wherever there's a winner, there's always a loser. So at some point, somebody has to be the bigger person and um, just accept it. You know, the people, people are going to try to defeat you no matter what. You have to be satisfied within yourself and in your heart that you are worthy. 
that, you know, what's right to you may not be right to someone else, but you stand your ground. Okay? What this, this is, like I said, calling a truce. There should be no more battling. As air signs, we really don't really like to engage in conflict a lot. Um, what else I get? Because this is on your heart chakra, and this to me seems like a blockage because it's sort of a standstill, a stagnant energy. Win or lose, what are you going to do? You may have some decisions that you need to make when it comes to who you love and who you allow to penetrate your heart chakra. Okay? You could be speaking about marriage with someone. This is your th throat chakra. You may or may not be speaking about balancing a relationship, coming into complete harmony, becoming one with someone else. You want your twin flame, your soulmate. You may be with your soulmate right now. And you guys may be at a point where you're constantly battling. And Spirit is calling you to recognize the traits that you share in common by being friendly to your partner. Remember that you guys are both just humans trying to survive in a spirit, you know, you're trying to survive in a, a tangible world as spirits. Your body is just a vessel. What goes on within your spirits is really what makes you or breaks you in this world. So remember that you guys are just two spirits connected, trying to find balance within yourself and within the other party. And this is a video plan. If you have that dog barking in the background, I don't know how to make it just be the music on YouTube. And it is a YouTube random selection. So if you seem to, um, especially as I'm showing you this card and they said, I'm trying to get next to you. You guys may be in a constant battle, really just with a desire to find out how to reconnect and become more friendly and get closer to each other. Okay. With the four of cups here, you have um, the feeling of missing an opportunity. So when you're dreaming, you may be dreaming of a better life, daydreaming about all the things you wish you have, or I'm sorry, the things you wish you had, or the things that you don't have in your relationship. Someone may be making you an offer, and you may feel like it's not good enough. And this is on your your conscience when you're asleep at night. Okay, well, we'll look more into this card when we clarify. But this is definitely the feeling of missing an opportunity. You may want to go out and explore the world and see what else life has to offer you. Your mind is on the five of cups here. This change of focus states that you are maybe crying over spilt milk again. Right after the Four of Cups, when you felt like you missed an opportunity, Spirit is encouraging you to change your focus and to focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. Look at all the things that your partner can offer you as opposed to what they are not able to give you. Make the best of what you have in your hands right now. And this is on your mind. And this is what spirit beliefs will clear your crown chakra is if you let go of all the things you don't have and all the things you wish you had and to focus clearly and specifically on what is tangible and ever so present in your life right now all right we're going to go ahead and clarify using the angel tarot I like to shuffle online so you know that it's real. Makes the videos a little bit longer, but I don't care if you don't. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. Share this video on YouTube. Share it with your family and friends. Thank you, Spirit. messages that we have for Gemini for the month of November 2019. <laughs> I can't shuffle y'all. My shuffling skills are so-so this morning. Try to say your prayers tonight at 11-11. Today you'll see 11-11. Reset. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Moon card. Page of Air. Okay, so you have the King of Pentacles, the Moon card, the Page of Swords, 
the Sun card, the Eight of Cups, the World card, and the Two of Cups. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, you have a Ten of Cups. So this is indicative of someone who's working too hard. You may feel like the relationship or the things that you're trying to maintain in your life is too much work. This is too much work, except help from others. Your life may be out of balance and you have some stress-related health concerns. All right. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius has some of the same cards, but maybe not. Always remember that if you are dealing with a zodiac sign, that it is okay to go and watch the video for their reading as well, because you may be able to pick up on some of the answers to your concerns by watching their video. All right, and we'll go back to what you have. So in the midst of you trying to clarify if this person is being deceptive or to even justify your thoughts of deception, it says here, you have a, success, a successful time, confidently accept new opportunities that you are offered and you have the Midas touch. Be generous, professional, responsible, and practical. So there could be something going on in your job where you may be um, being accused or you may know that there are some deceptive practices going on at your job. And you have the ability to change that. And it's the same if you are in a love relationship where, they're, where you're needing to seek the truth. You want someone to open up to you and be completely honest with you. And it is all a, depending on how you approach this person. Um, sometimes we want results from a person quickly. With the King of Pentacles, he knows that slow and steady wins the race. Slow money is better than no money, and that's how you grow money, okay? With what you desire, it says here, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, and release the fears that hold you back. So you may be doubting yourself, am I good enough? Am I capable? Am I worthy? And Spirit is telling you right here that yes, you are. If you believe in yourself, then you will succeed. If you release these fears that hold you back. Um, you know, it's like, are you afraid of the dark? No, you're not. You know that the golds and goblins can't get you because you are covered, okay? The moon card here suggests that it is very important for you to release the fears that hold you back in order to succeed. If you look at this person, they're alone in this picture. The only person stopping you from succeeding is yourself. Okay? With what you are capable of here, this is double air sign. This is because the full card takes on the energy of a Libra or an Aries. And the page of air is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. So with this air sign, it's saying that you are capable. So it's causing you, it's calling for you to clear your crown chakra. It says here, you want to be logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. So sometimes a page of air will cut a person off without a second thought, or will use words that are so cutting that you make a person feel like a piece of poop. I have to say that. So you have some challenging information, delays or changes to plans, and the truth delivered without tag. You may simply be saying, fuck you, I don't wanna work here no more, I'm out. Or fuck this and fuck that, I'm out of this relationship. With this energy here, it is saying that be careful. And no, actually it's not saying be careful, it's saying to go for it. This truth is delivered without tag. Let me see what you got on your um, crown chakra. Yeah, I mean, your, your your throat chakra and your capabilities because this, this card is blue. That's what made me focus on your throat chakra here. It's saying that pretty much don't hold back. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And always remember that when you, once you let go of the, those words, you can't get them back. Okay? On your heart chakra, you have the sun. So I think that this is saying here, it's not a thought. What Spirit is saying here is that once you call this truth, you'll find your happiness. Once you let go of the battles and become more friendly with your partner, with yourself, and with those in your work environment, you will have a happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, and you'll begin to have confidence in yourself. Life isn't a battle. Life doesn't have to be a battle. Life is what you make it. If you make it a struggle, it will be a struggle. If you move through life with ease and confidence, you will gain a lot of successful, confident, and abundant energy. All right, and with your throat chakra here, 
there's a need, a desire to move on. So there's a desire to speak up about something here. It says a desire to move on, to search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. You want this growth. You want a marriage. You want a soulmate who is going to allow you to explore and to grow with you. Okay, so in order to get that, I see this, especially with them being underwater, um, I see the Eight of Cups as you moving on to a place where you speak freely about your desires, but you do it so that you are able to elevate the person who is standing right next to you. I keep thinking about this um, friendliness card, and it is really encouraging you to remember that a person is just a person. Sometimes what you think a person is doing to deceive you is oftentimes just their own insecurities their own flaws or maybe it's even something within you that you are not able to let go of so it's time for you to move on and understand that it is okay for you to be happy with the crown chakra here on your third eye, like I said, you're, you may be afraid that you are missing opportunities and you may be telling someone, hey, this isn't working. I'm ready to go off into the world. And um, thank you for everything. You've been great. This is maybe the conversation that you are having with yourself. You know, when you fall asleep at night, the last thing on your mind is how you're going to release this energy. It says here with the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, and the path toward enlightenment. So you're deliberating. Someone has made you an offer or you have something right now that you currently aren't satisfied with. And Spirit is encouraging you that, you know, maybe this is the end of a cycle. Maybe you are going to leave your job or you are not going to accept an offer from someone. You may want to say, listen, I appreciate you for everything that you've done so far, but I think it's time for us to go our separate ways. Okay. I'm going to see another way how I can read this because... The world card is like, it's also saying here, like, we've done a good job up to this point. Now it's time to grow. And I see that here again with the Eight of Cups. So you're talking to someone about the next phase of a relationship, about the next position in your life, whether you become self-employed or continue to work with someone else. Or, um, I, mean, I definitely just see the completion. Something is coming to an end. The way things used to be, are no longer you know you're moving towards something better here and once you change your focus and realize it's so interesting because you got the two of cups in an traditional tarot deck the five of cups shows three cups knocked over but two cups still standing and it's telling you to change your focus here the two of cups says a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness the positive resolution of a conflict and again you had this conflict on your heart so whoever this person is that you might be in a relationship with i do see air aquarius libra gemini and i also see fire um i specifically see the leo but i also do see um aries leo and sagittarius so you could be dealing with any of those signs and it doesn't have to be you could be dealing with any zodiac sign but spirit is saying that on your mind you believe that this is your soulmate you may have believed that this was your soulmate and um However, the thing that's on your mind the most is that you want someone who shares the same ideas with you. If you look at these two people in the picture, they kind of look like twins. You can't tell one from the other. And that is how we sometimes become in our relationship. And when we're changing our focus, um, is I think this is, spirit is saying here to change the way you digest what a soulmate relationship is. People tend to think that a soulmate relationship or two people who love each other are always wear matching clothes, go everywhere together, tell each other everything. That's not the case. Your soulmate will come into your life and let you know that they're your soulmate by growing you. You may obtain knowledge that you never thought of. You may unlock some doors within your mental and physical and spiritual realms that you never thought were possible. Your soulmate could be somebody who is not even your type. They don't look the way you want. They don't dress or think the way you would like for them to. But they are here in your life for a reason. Okay? The Spirit is encouraging you to change the way you look at your soulmate. Change the way you view the relationships in your life. And remember, to be more friendly and to pay close attention to your visions. Make sure that you are satisfied with yourself. Make sure that your satisfaction with yourself spills over into your relationship because if you are not satisfied with yourself you cannot be satisfied with anyone else all right now i'm going to use the ghetto tarot 
in order to clarify for you. If you came to the reading today with a yes or no question in mind, I'm going to ask you to hold that question in your thoughts. A positive card is a yes. A negative card is a no. If it makes me think too long, it's a maybe. And I'm going to encourage you to tune into the next public reading or request a private reading from me. These readings, the chakra readings for an individual are $65. You can DM me at Trap House Tarot on Instagram, or you can select a general reading. And I do have a picture posted of what that looks like on the, um, on the Instagram page. Feel free to also take a look at some of the older videos for examples of what a general tarot reading is, because that's usually what I do during the week or during the month. Okay. Spirit is ready to get your answer out, so let me pay attention. And Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini's yes or no question? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I got the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm going to say that that is a yes. The Knight of Pentacles, by being a positive card, and again, you got these this thoughts of deception at the bottom of the deck. So someone could be being deceitful or someone may be thinking that you are up to no good. So be very wise about what you share with people or how you move around them. Sometimes we do things that aren't even sneaky, but because the other person has some type of doubts about us, they're reading into everything. And same, you could be doing that to someone else. What you've noticed as deception in the past relationships doesn't have to be the same in this current relationship, okay? All right, you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is constancy, reliability, down to earth attitude, industriousness, endurance, reliability, practical mind, reasonableness, and carefulness. Reliability and consistency are worth more than any number of flashy ideas. Never back down from responsibility and hold true to your word. Hard work produces the thoughts that you desire. Slow down, come to rest, and recognize that you are already at home. And this goes back into the energy of that you are focusing on what you don't have. And from what I just picked up, it's like you have the whole world at the palm of your hand. So you have everything you need, especially with this magician at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so focus on what you do have and make the most of that. Build on, you can't build on nothing. So if you feel like you have nothing, then what are you going to build? You have to realize that you have everything. Okay. Gemini, I hope this message resonated with you. Remember, please comment below, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all your feedback. Stay blessed.